It was so cold. It was really cold. It was really cold. <laughs> the rain became go. heavier that afternoon, accompanied by rolling thunder. Now and then, the skies had turned dark, though I couldn't see any of it under the black umbrella. And somebody's dead. Not that I was looking up. In fact, looking up was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I stared at the grass beneath my feet, unable to look up at the people weeping around me. All I could see was the damp grass underneath my feet. Only the monotone eulogies that floated through my ears reminded me that I was at a funeral. It was only when the speeches ended that I finally was able to raise my head. A small gathering of people, mostly made of relatives that I didn't even know, were related to me, were huddled around a simple, small grave. For a while, all I heard was the sound of raindrops on umbrellas. If it weren't raining, everything would probably be in heavy silence. I looked beside me, where my father was standing and holding up a large black umbrella for our small family of three. His face was emotionless, a strange sight next to my weeping mother. I wondered what was going through his mind. After all, etched into the small, into the small. <laughs> I've ruined the moment. <laughs> I've ruined, you ruined it. I ruined it. Ruined it. After all, etched into the smooth grey tombstone before us was his father's name. My grandfather, the one who raised me like his own daughter, had passed away that day. My God, they buried him quick. They did, really. The ceremony was small. Only close family were allowed to come. Slowly, though, people began to leave, leaving my father, mother, and me behind at the grave. A man dressed in a clean black suit under the uniform black umbrella of the funeral attendees walked towards us, introducing himself as grandfather's lawyer. He pulled out a few documents from his suitcase and began to read aloud its contents. Don't you do this, like, not at the part where they just buried the guy? <laughs> I have, I think. Like, they spent more time on the, the fact that they were in class than the fact that her grandfather died. <laughs> <laughs> just to keep that in, in perspective here. Mm-hmm. Only my parents were... Ugh. Only my parents and I were allowed to be present for my grandfather's will. It was under the strict request of his lawyer. And there was a reason why. And to my dearest Do we want to know? I give my estate. All the furniture and decor that resides within the house shall also be given to my granddaughter. Ooh, we get stoof. <laughs> we get a lot of stuff. What? I couldn't believe my ears. I had earned the family estate at 18? That was impossible. And yet it was written in my own grandfather's hand. He passed the family estate to her? Why am I not surprised? He's angry. He's angry. He's really angry. They're not, they're not really in funeral attire. They're not. Well, did he and she's wearing like a, about what a will become of the bad sweater with elbow pads. Uh, yeah, our father seems angry, but oh well. No. It is presumed that the vice chairman will succeed the position. Even to the bitter end, he wouldn't give in. What a stubborn old man. Shaking his head, my father turned to face my mother with a serious expression on his face. About the estate. Should we send her there to get used to the building? It'll be a good place for her to live after high school. Are you sure we should? Why not? This would be a good experience for her. He's so angry. He's so angry. He just wants to get us out of his way. Yeah. Like, we look so sad. In the corner. Hey, mm -hmm. What do you think? Dot. 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 I, I really wasn't sure what to say. Why did my grandfather think that I was the appropriate heir to the mansion? Was I even ready to live on my own? Well, that seems to be it. We'll be taking our leave now. I'm sure the little heiress needs some time to adjust. Wow. Wow. Where are you at now? Um, 
Well, it seems to be it. We're we'll taking our leave now. She'll have a little errors need some time to adjust. Okay, I'm a bit ahead. Okay. David! David! Okay. Even though she raised her voice, my dad wordlessly began walking back to the car, disinterested. Don't mind him, honey. I think that your grandfather's passing really affected him. Why don't we get back home for- I'm gonna uh, take all the time you need, so let me know when you get there and then we'll get back on sync. Uh, I'm- I'm reading now. <laughs> <laughs> you can go uh, on ahead to the car. Oh, you, are you like that far ahead? I don't know. You can go ahead uh, to the okay. car. Okay, you're you're only one behind me. We're good. <laughs> I think uh, I need keep, some time alone with Grandpa. Oh, of course. Take all the time you Take need. Take all the time you need. Okay. She gave me a quick hug and hurried after my dad. I looked around the funeral grounds, which was completely empty save for the sullen-looking grave that was laid in front of me. I'm sure that if Grandpa were in charge of arranging all of this, it would have been much different. It was blatantly obvious that my dad was in charge of the whole event. Who else would bury their own family the same day they passed away? Hmm. Hmm. That was a good observation there, zombie. <laughs> Everyone knew my grandfather's love for toys, and yet the grave was a mere stone slab on the ground, void of any children's toys. My dad didn't even bother putting flowers. His disdain for my grandfather was almost pitiful. Sorry, Grandpa. I tried to force out some words, but the only thing that came out was a choked sob. You told me to stay strong, but right now I'm the farthest from it. Like that one time a long time ago. Grandpa! It's so good to see you again, sweetie. I was swept into a giant bear hug, and we both laughed as he swung me around like an airplane. The piano music. <laughs> it was one of my favorite things about seeing my grandfather. The way he greeted me, unlike my father, my grandfather was loving and playful, even as I grew older. Sorry that daddy couldn't be here today. He said that he wasn't feeling too good again. It had always been like that. Dad missed every visit to Grandpa's house, citing that he was busy with work or wasn't feeling well. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Oh, well, thank you, Scott. Hmm, yeah. So, what are we doing today, Grandpa? Mummy says that there's a new dessert cafe. Open in town. Maybe we could go. Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? Yes. Oh, is that a toy? It is. I was designing a new line of them. But I feel like something's missing. You don't think you could help me out, could you? Of course. He placed the toy in my hands with a smile, and I inspected it carefully. It was beautifully crafted. And obviously a lot of work was put into it. There is one thing so, though. What do you think? Hmm. I think the heart on its chest should light up when you hug it. It'll be like it's alive. And it can be like a little nightlight before you sleep. He stroked his chin, considering my input while nodding his head. After a few moments of silent deliberation, he turned to me with a chuckle. That's a great idea. I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky charm, Gear. You always know what to add to make the perfect toy. Ooh, yeah. Ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can be like you one day, Grandpa. You want to make toys as well? Mm, well, making people happy is the best feeling in the world. I don't know if I want to make toys when I grow up, though. Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Wise words, Grandfather. Wise mm -hmm. words. Ten out of ten. That makes sense. Daddy doesn't think of it in the same way, though. Your father. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. I'm not so sure about that. Sweetie, look at me. 
He bent down to look at me eye level, with a serious look on his face. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And you need to love him just as equally. I don't hate daddy. I really do love him. I don't know why he's like this though. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. Oh. The music is really dramatic. Mm -hmm. Especially with backstory music, you'd think it would turn turned down, maybe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I had heard tidbits of this from my mother and various other people. The only people who had stayed quiet were my father and grandfather. Both of them refrained from saying a word on the subject matter. But it was clear that when it, whatever happened set up a wall between them. It's hard, though. Trying to pretend as if nothing were wrong. However, no matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already, and, well, there'll come a day when it seems like it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Beautiful. Daddy, Mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. How can you be so sure of that? Because <laughs> you <laughs> Oh my. You just pulled out like the hole. <laughs> Did you enjoy that yeah. reading? <laughs> he, point he pointed his finger to my head first, and then pointed at my chest. So stay strong. Oh, I thought you were making a joke. No. <laughs> no. I just read one from there. I didn't look ahead. I thought you were making like satire. But... <laughs> where are you this up to? This isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. No. Um. Where are you up to? Uh, he pointed his finger at my head first, oh, okay. and then pointed at my chest. So stay strong, promise. <laughs> For a moment, he looked almost sad, pleading, but as quickly as it had come. The expression disappeared from his face, and he was all smiles once again. Promise! We're so... cool. Upon mm -hmm. hearing that, Coolest. Grandpa let out a great burst of laughter and stood up. Alright then, enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe, but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Well, He's gonna cook his dessert. Cook his dessert, yeah. Mm -hmm. Homemade dessert. I'll race you to the hey, kitchen. Slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> you willed me the very. Willed me the very. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. The very way home, I love you, says only. Why? Why would you say that? Hold on. Ahem. A surge of anger bubbled within me, but I quickly swallowed it. There was no use in getting mad, especially when the person in question was no longer there. I'm sorry, it's hard to stay calm when you've left me with so many questions, especially about what happened between you and Dad. <laughs> what am I doing, talking to a grave? My vision blurred and I suddenly realised that I was crying. My face heated up as tears rolled down my cheeks. I'll bring you some flowers later. I... I miss you, Grandpa. I'll try my best to fulfill my promise I gave to you, even if the world might be turned against me. I left the grave, wiping my tears hastily so my parents wouldn't see. Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? Yay. Notice how, again, it is not raining. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> However, my dad didn't speak the entire drive home. I wanted to talk to him, but after his moment at the funeral, I wasn't sure if it was a good idea. Their car is almost on empty. It's about time we <laughs> took off those dreary black clothes. They're also on FM 96.11 Superstation. <laughs> He's not wearing any dreary black clothes. Our father is so... Gathering my courage, I decided then that it was time to talk. Dad, could I ask you something? Go ahead. 
Why do you want me to move into the estate so soon? I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? Dot, dot, dot. Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a perfect fit for you. Oh, I mean, I guess, but... <laughs> but it's so sudden. You just decided so quickly, right after the funeral. Uh, don't be so sensitive. If you're like that in the real oh, world, you'll be crushed. snap. <laughs> I don't like our father. Mm -mm. Let's get a B new minus. one. Yeah. <laughs> get a new one. <laughs> get a new father. Yeah, just sell a mansion and get a new dad. Yeah. I'm just saying that maybe we could talk a bit more about my future. In reply, my father rubbed his temples and sighed quietly. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? Hmm, bossy. But what if... Stop mumbling! But what if I don't want to work there? Don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. Ooh. I think he's getting angry. Dot, dot, dot. He came closer to me and his face softened. Look, this is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. For some reason, when I heard him say that, something snapped in me. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but it made me feel so angry. Do you even care that Grandfather passed away? Of course I do. Hmm. Well, everything seems fine and dandy to you. Hmm. Things couldn't be better. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. <laughs> it's like nothing even happened at all. Like you just ignored the fact that he's no longer here. Do not raise your voice at me. I would raise my voice, but it's half too. <laughs> <laughs> what did he? <laughs> what did he ever do to you to deserve this? My father, his face hardened, crossed his arms and erupted in angry laughter. Ha! <laughs> you sure place him upon a pedestal. Like he's some kind of venerated god or something. It makes me sick. Is that it? Are you happy seeing Grandfather dead? While everyone was grieving, you were holding yourself back from laughing in everyone's faces? Did you just feel... Bleh, I can't... Re I've, I've ruined the moment again. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I'm like when I read a Higurashi. I just like cut it all out. Just... Oh, I thought you were just really good at reading. No. <laughs> did, you, did you feel just a bit happier seeing him lie in the graveyard? Oh no. He smacked. You his... don't know anything! Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on when you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut! I don't like him. You did not know my father. You did not know what he this was capable mean. of. He is. Dot dot dot. Is everything all right? What happened? Nothing. I'm not hungry. I think I'll just go upstairs. Honey, wait. Mother, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a purple bedroom. I quickly turned and ran up the stairs to my room, slamming the door behind me. My breath came in short pants, and for a while, I just leaned against the door to my bedroom, eventually sliding down to sit against it. How did things become like this? My cheek still throbbed, and I tentatively stood up and looked at the mirror to see how it looked. Hopefully it doesn't bruise. Heh. <laughs> what am I saying? Tears formed in the corners of my eyes, but I blinked them back rapidly. I couldn't cry for the second time today. I had to be stronger than that. Uh, you're right. Your father told me nothing happened, but you know your father. I'm fine. I just lost my appetite. The lasagna's done, though. And I don't want you skipping any meals. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about me, Mom. I'll come downstairs later to eat. 
You're not telling me the whole story. I I just don't want to eat right now. Please, dear. Tell me what's going on. Mother, I please. Tell me why you're doing like this. <laughs> dot dot dot. This. I wanted to tell her. A part of me was screaming to tell her what Dad had done. At the same time, I knew she couldn't fix anything. Besides, I was moving out regardless. I remained silent, letting the event remain in the past. Well, I'll leave your food on the table if you want to eat it later. Finally, my mum left me alone. It was strange to think that she was only a few inches away from me, only separated by a single wooden door. I really didn't know what to do. I needed something to do, anything, to get my mind off just what happened. Anything would be better than thinking any more about the pain still radiating from my cheek. I was probably going to move into grandma into my grandfather's house tomorrow. Oh, quick. I should mm -hmm. probably pack my stuff so I would be prepared for tomorrow. Yeah, that was a good idea. I should start packing. Good to know. I opened the closet, mm -hmm. rummaging around for a while before I finally found two large bags. Pulling them out onto the floor in, of my room, I then began to empty my drawers and cabinets so that I could bring all my things with me. I didn't have much to bring, other than just clothes and some toiletries. It was kind of bizarre, but I didn't have many personal belongings. Whew. It wasn't like my luggage was completely devoid of them, but I certainly didn't have anything in my room that I would miss if I just suddenly left the house. I shook my head to rid myself of those thoughts. If it were going to be my new home, it would have to feel like it, one way or another. I was going to make it a home. <laughs> just as I was packing my things, my cell phone, I slid my phone I want this music to stop. There we are. Uh, <laughs> I slid my phone out of my pocket and answered it while slowly easing myself onto my bed. Who could possibly be calling? Hey Anderson, you there? Oh, hello, Suzu. Is everything alright? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Is that an iPhone 4S? I don't know. I think it is. Dot dot dot. Hello? Hello. I'm really glad you guys called. My voice managed to come out, though it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? Well... I slowly began to tell them about the funeral that afternoon. A small silence followed when I was done recounting what happened. Only... To my relief... And to my relief, Naomi finally spoke up. I No, it's okay. My dad isn't in a good mood, so could we just keep on talking on the phone like this? Of course. We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn, right, Suzu? Yeah. We're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? Triple threat trio. I thought they were the three musketeers. What's well, going I, on? I know. <laughs> ah, yeah. Triple threat trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. Yeah, I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary. Probably no one's going to take us seriously. What did you and Naomi think? <laughs> You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Pulling behind the cool kids like Anderson and me. Hey, I'm a cool kid. If anything, I say you have to step up your game. I think those are fighting words. <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> we chatted cheerfully about all sorts of things. Very soon, I had forgotten about the events of the day and was engaged in a conversation about Naomi's favourite TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Some program called Herlock. <laughs> Are you okay there, Dino? Do you need a breather? Herlock. <laughs> Herlock. <laughs> We all agreed that the actor playing the titular character certainly had a very distinctive look about him. With that long overcoat and scarf wrapped around his neck. 
Oh, who are they pretending to, that that character really they is? He had many disagreements about who he thought was the coolest character. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he was. A, he has oh, really high cheekbones. And his eyes are pretty. Though, I do have to say, I prefer Jetson. Jetson? <laughs> 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 and as a bonus, his actor is just so sassy. Dear God. Jetson. <laughs> I looked at the clock hanging on the wall and realized how late it was. Well, it's already what? Wow, we spoke for a long time. It's already 1 a.m. Sorry <laughs> for keeping you guys up so late. I think I'm going to hit the hay for tonight. See you guys at school tomorrow. I should probably shower and go to bed. I can't believe I stayed up this late just to talk to my friends. But it was really nice. Well, to the bathroom I go. Please don't make us go to school tomorrow, game. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I took a relaxing shower. Nothing beat hot water and the feeling of being clean. After drying myself, I promptly dressed in my pajamas and crawled into bed. Uh, a nice hot shower after a long day. So glad to finally be in bed. It had been a really long day. I knew... That I was wishing for something to change back in class, but I certainly wasn't expecting... I don't know. Ugh. And I have to go back to school tomorrow. No! <laughs> I curled up on my side and tightly wrapped the blankets around me. I really wasn't in the mood to be returning to school. Mm -mm. But my dad probably wouldn't... Would make me go for the sake of it. It's time to go to sleep. I reached out to the lamp on my nightstand to turn off the lights. End of episode two. <laughs> <laughs>